Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And whatever time of the day it is, you've decided to join us here on the Mothership for Network She on Wellbeing Wednesday. It's September. Well, it's nearly October. <laughs> So today we have a fabulous lineup for you, all our members of the Academy, the Wellbeing Academy, with their expertise, their hints and tips, their guidance and their golden nuggets for you and your well-being throughout the day. So do stay tuned. My name is Michelle, Michelle Louise. My business is Angelic Healing. I am an advanced master teacher specialize in in women's well-being turning your negative thought patterns into positive behaviors for you because you matter because you're important and you are enough so i like to teach people how to think and heal themselves happy why well because happy people live longer happy people are less likely to suffer poor health Happy people deal with stress more effectively, get more involved in their community, have lots of friends, and generally have a happy lifestyle, a happy lifetime. Happy people glow differently from the inside out. Okay, it's absolutely privilege to be able to teach people the techniques on how to reframe those negative thought patterns to create positive behaviors. It's life-changing. It's life skills for life-changing. So now then, I can't talk about being able to teach you how to think and heal yourself happy without talking about mindset. Mindset is key to how you feel. And it doesn't really matter who you are, what you've been through, what's going on, What's about to happen? You're still you. Wherever you go, you take you with you. You matter and you're important and you are enough. And I can't say that too many times because it's true. It's absolutely true. But did you know that you're not alone? When you're having your thoughts in your head or talking to yourself or out loud, your body's listening. And your body is listening to every thought and every word you say, taking it as a direct instruction from you. Now, how does that make you feel? What kind of things do you say to yourself to change the way you feel? Do you even realize that what you are telling yourself affects the way you feel? Well, it does. Being a hypnotherapist and an energy healer, I'm absolutely fascinated with the mind-body connection. When you have a thought, your subconscious instantly gives you the vision connected to the thought. We think in pictures. And then your body will match that thought and a vision with an emotion. And your emotions shape your actions, your behavior. But it's all down to that thought process. Excuse me. What are you thinking about? Is it kind? Is it true? Is it positive? What is positive? Or is it your inner chatterbox, your imposter syndrome, your conscious mind telling you once again, you can't do that. You're not good enough. What do you say to yourself in the mirror? What do you say to yourself as soon as you wake up in the morning? Are you one of these people that jumps out of bed and has a routine and is looking forward to the day ahead? Or do you get out of bed dragging your carcass out of the bed or putting the alarm clock on to snooze and going, oh, no, not again? When you wake up like that, you're likely to stub your toe on the end of the bed get in the bathroom and the bulb will go, or there's no toilet paper left, <laughs> or there's no conditioner when you wash your hair, or there's no hot water, or there's no toothpaste left, and then there'll be nothing ironed to wear, and then you'll go to work and hit every single traffic jam and red light on the way, and there'll be no parking space for you, and it just escalates. If you wake up with a mindset that's looking forward to the day ahead, and you've set your intention for the day, 
and you've let that go, then your day is going to start completely different. And if anything, you're just going to build on that positive outlook throughout the day. And we're all human. Any day can take a curve and hit you with something that you're not expected. And as we're only human, we all have emotions. You're going to respond to that curveball, be it good or bad. We don't have to stay there. And that is actually a choice. But so many of us don't realize that mindset is a choice. You can choose to think again, or you can allow your mind to gain momentum and continue to spiral. Is that going to spiral down? You heard that spiraling out of control to the bottom of our emotions, into fear, into resistance. Or are those thoughts going to gain momentum and gather speed, carrying you up towards your happy place to peace and love and joy and appreciation and gratitude? Do you notice the difference in your feelings when you are happy, when things are going well and you seem to be on a roll? That's no coincidence. Because if you've started your day in a positive mindset and decided once you've made a decision, the body takes notice of that and you're halfway there because your body's lifted, your energy, your vibration has lifted. It's expecting something new to happen. It's excited. So you gain in momentum with these positive thoughts. Your subconscious will keep bringing you similar thinking thoughts back and off you go up to your happy place now when you're in your happy place you are first in flow it feels fantastic and that's because you're releasing all your happy hormones and when you're in gratitude and appreciation those hormones that are being released are healing hormones they wash in your body all your wiring right through to the soul with joy and it is extremely healing but at the same time if you've allowed your thoughts to gain momentum with low vibrational energy, recalling things that don't make you feel so happy, then that hormone that's being released doesn't feel so good. You're in fear, you're in resistance, and you're not likely to achieve an awful lot from this emotional state of fear. You want to manifest, you want to start something new, create um, a new routine or hit some goals, then first you need to be in a, a mindset on your way up to your happy place. And from there, you can literally be, have, or do anything you set your mind to. It's absolutely true. So if you'd like to know more about having a positive mindset, changing those limiting beliefs, those inner thought patterns, which other end of the spiral you're on. You want to make some changes? Do you want to make some decisions? Do you want to stop smoking? Do you want to lose weight? You can't lose weight if you keep telling yourself you're fat because your body's listening and it's doing absolutely everything you tell it to do as a direct instruction. It has one job to keep you safe and believes everything you say is because you want it. It doesn't perceive right from wrong, good from bad, positive from negative dangerous to save it just does as it's told so what are you telling yourself or what might you decide to start telling yourself to make those changes so that you can enjoy some positive outcomes and you can be happy too so that's me michelle from angelic healing i'm based in colwyn bay and i look forward to hearing from you soon have a fabulous day stay tuned throughout the day for all our experts on the Wellbeing Academy here, especially for you, because you matter, you're important, and you are enough. And I'll see you soon. Bye.